Yeah. So this was... It hasn't been as explosive of a tournament. It hasn't gotten tons and tons of upsets, but we got a few. We had Oakland, not California, Oakland, Michigan, take I down Kentucky, all right? Dude, yes. dude named Jack Golke, who is going to like be an accountant in three months. <laughs> Ten three-pointers, okay? Absolutely fun. But the only double-digit seed to make it to the Sweet 16 is NC State. NC State was not supposed to be in the tournament. They won five straight games in the ACC tournament to qualify for the big dance, okay? Mm -hmm. They have this guy, Sam. You would love him. DJ Burns. He's a big, all right? He's a center. Oh, he's a big. He's a big. I love me my the, the guy looks like he could play defensive line for NC State tomorrow, okay? <laughs> you, you watch this guy play, and you think he's just a bruiser, but then you see him in a game where the other team's scared to death of him, so he, they start doubling him immediately as soon as he catches the ball. Yes, that's our guy. That's our guy, <laughs> DJ Burns. I Sam, love him. I'm watching him in the ACC championship game against uh, North Carolina, and they decide, hey, we're going to double this guy every time he touches the ball. And he just starts ripping passes. So all of a sudden, this guy has like nine assists in the first ten minutes of the game because he's reading it so well. He's a fifth or sixth year senior because of the COVID year. So yeah, much yeah. fun to watch. He's NC State, <laughs> right, right. You can't call NC State a Cinderella because they're a major school from a major conference. Yeah, yeah. But one of those easy to root for, America loves them, really fun to watch type of teams because of that guy. So. They're the number one game to watch over this next Thursday and Friday. All right. Six nine, two hundred and seventy five pounds. Yes. You no, know, you know they're being generous. You know that's closer to two eighty five, <laughs> two ninety. All right. You yep. know there's a few big chickens slapping around in those thighs down there. Right. Right. So on Friday, first game of Friday, NC State plays Marquette. So not only do I love watching DJ Burns and NC State, but I also went on the record saying I don't think Marquette is that good. So that one's going to be a big game for me. No. That one's going to be a very big game for me. Putting for a lot us. Of Joey Shad skins on the line. There. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And then the last thing I'm going to say about March Madness, well, two more things. One, the lack of upsets early, besides just a few leads to a very, very fun Sweet 16 Elite Eight Final Four championship yeah. here because all the big dogs are left. NC State's an 11 seed. Everybody else is a five seed or better. Yeah. So, like, really good teams everywhere. So as we didn't have as much fun at the start of this tournament, but it should lead exactly. to a really, really good back end of this tournament, yep. which no, I knew this was going to happen because everybody was saying that the parody is unbelievable and that this is going to be upset city this year. We knew it was just going to be kind of chalky. Like we I knew, knew that it. before watching this, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. knew it. We knew it. And, yeah, it's... I'd sacrifice, man, that first day is so much fun, but it's fun because there's just always basketball on. Right. But then you get the upsets, and it's it's awesome. It's super great. Oh, my gosh. Goes to California. So cool. Yeah. And then the Sweet 16 blows, and you're like, oh, the same teams are here that we thought were going to be here. Like, right. We just got here by a more boring route than we yeah. wanted. So. Exactly. Those Cinderella stories, you know they're eventually going to get blown out. It's really fun yeah. to watch them win a game or two, but you the want them to games. lose in a close fashion somewhere along the way before yeah. they meet Houston and lose by 30. So, Which, Is that a hot take by us? It, I feel like it might be. I it, feel like America might not be on our side on that one. It's a hot take at first, and then America thinks about it, and they're just yeah. like, you know what? These guys might have a point. If America, If America – removes their passions which we're very good at as a country by the way i, th I think they i think we win them over right too much right. too much politics what are we too doing? much what yeah we what doing? are we doing here all right <laughs> oh last point i want to make i am debating if i would like to double my entire savings account by simply betting on uconn to cover every single game <laughs> and seeing if i can retire by the end of april because they have looked that good. They have right. looked dominant. Okay, I know. So what's, what's popping off? They they have NBA guys. Okay. okay. They have legit yeah, NBA yeah, yeah. guys. They can play a lot of different ways. They can beat you 48 to 50, and they can beat you 105 to 103. Like, they can play both ways. So they have NBA mean, right? guys. They have really good stuff. This is a little bit of the coach in me. All right. I, I, I like watching plays and what they do. Every team starts with a high ball screen now that's just basketball yeah from yep. top to bottom now 
they're one of the few teams. They run everything off ball, all of their actions off ball, and then they hit the cutter or they hit the wide open guy coming off the curl and then run it from there. They don't start with a lot of high ball screens, so it's different. And yeah. in a tournament like this, it's hard to prepare for because you're just used to going high ball screen every time. So they're a little hard to prepare for too. National champs last year, I know it was a 16 seed, but they covered a 37-point spread. Mm-hmm. They covered, like with ease. Yeah. They won by 52. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They've just looked dominant. They've looked dominant all year long. I picked Houston to win the whole thing, so I'm not saying that I even saw this coming because the number one overall seed usually goes down somewhere along the way. Yep. But UConn's really, really good, and I'm debating retiring by the end of April by going all in on this. Do it. <laughs>